What about people who don't eat chocolate? I mean, are they more at risk then as a, as a result? Well, what we found was people who did not eat chocolate um, tended to have higher incidence of stroke and cardiovascular disease. Having said that, that, there may be a reason behind that. That may be the fact that people who do not eat chocolate already have all these cardiovascular risk factors. Therefore, they are more likely to have cardiovascular disease and die from that. So that we call as a reverse uh, asso you know, association and we can't completely rule it out. But what this study uh, added to the literature was that, that we, we look at the other similar studies and all other studies show similar consistent results. So reverse causation, although there's a possibility, maybe less likely. Um, the, the key thing here probably is some under-reporting because some people who eat uh, loads of sweets and chocolate tended to report less. So there may be an under-reporting bias in there. So that's are the two things we, we have to be careful about in interpreting the results. How much chocolate do you eat, Professor? I eat about 100 grams per week, not a day. Thankfully, I've eaten yours while we've been chatting them. It's great to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed for joining us on Sky News this afternoon. Thank it was you very, very much. It was very okay. good indeed. Thank yeah. you. Sam? I can't understand you, Kay. I think you've got your mouth full. <laughs>